six billion people on this planet, each one uniquely designed by the creator. Who are you? I know the question might seem a little odd, but really, who are you? Your identity has to be wrapped up in something, so what is it? Is it football? Is it music? Are you a rebel? If people could refer to you as a thing, and your definition could be found in the dictionary, how would people define you? Who are you? Are you a follower of Christ? Surely that has something to do with your identity. Who you are should be wrapped up in something bigger than you. Bigger than your school, bigger than your team, bigger than your country, bigger than life. All that other stuff is fine. But again, I ask you, who are you? My identity is in Jesus. I no longer live, but he lives in me. Um, I really enjoyed CE this year and the overnight was great, but you know, the best thing for me was probably last week and um, learning to be thankful to God and um, that's just been so great and I've loved every minute of CE. I really enjoyed CE this year and um, the worship's been really good and it's been great to see loads of people there. I agree. <laughs> My favourite part of CU this year was Mission Week. I really liked CU this year because the speakers were really good and the music was amazing. Uh, I like CU because it gives me something to think about through the week. And uh, I like CU because um, it just keeps you refreshed and uh, I think again it just gives you something to think about. I really enjoyed seeing you this year, especially the sleepover, the debate, and Tony Anthony was really good. I'm really excited about what it's going to bring to us next year. See you. See you. I'll see you. You can't do it. My favourite bit of seeing you this year was the prayer meeting we had when we had um, the debate in school because it really um, was just really inspirational to have that people praying for um, what was going on in our school. And I really feel that prayer is an important part of our school and I really enjoyed that this year. This is the first year I've been a Christian, so it was really, really exciting for me. And my favourite part of this year was, firstly, the debate, because it showed that um, we as Christians are not completely helpless to um, to the arguments of like the secular world. And the second part of the year I really loved was um, was the the assembly, because it showed people what our message is, and it it, it not only showed it, it displayed them with all the power and the passion that. Um, um, that God would, God would want in it. Yeah. Um, I'm an IT guy and really enjoyed just doing the IT all this year. Just a bit of a challenge, time to play the struggle, but I'm really good and I've done one thing. Um, so this year in CU I enjoyed lots of things like the sleepover. Um, I thought it was a good band and the music was good as well. I enjoyed singing. Praises rising over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> but yeah, we were really good. Uh, my favourite part of CU this year was the assembly because I thought it was like a really great visual representation of what's important to us all. Um, so what have I enjoyed? Um, I've enjoyed everything with CU. I think it's been a great year. I've enjoyed singing Praises Rising a lot. That's been fantastic. I enjoyed the sleepover. I enjoyed the debate with everyone coming pretty much from the whole school. That was fantastic. And yeah, it was just an absolutely fantastic year. Hey, my favourite bit of the year was the music. Um, I really enjoyed the year this year. I liked the sleepover and the worship. And the Christmas outreach with the Ninja Roman. My favourite thing about CU is the speakers. My favourite thing from CU would be the ones in the overnight. So my favourite part about CU this year was the overnight. Um, and there were so many people there and when Timmy fell asleep during the talk it was very fun. So it was a really good weekend um, overnight. And I think everybody had a good time. That was my favourite part. My favourite bit of CU this year was the Easter Assembly. Just because we got to do it so many times and we got to reach out to every single year group in the school and I think it was a really good way of showing Jesus to each and every one of them. Hey guys, um, just to say I really enjoyed seeing you this year and I especially enjoyed leading you all in worship and I just want to leave you with one little thought. Just next year whenever you're enjoying school and so on, just never take your eyes off the cross because that's the most important thing. 
Um, just thought I'd leave you with the verse. It's Isaiah 40, verse 31, and it says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. <laughs> um, this year in CU, I really enjoyed the open night. Um, I just felt like I got to know so many people more um, than I had known them already. I also enjoyed the Bible studies because I just learned so much through them and I really enjoyed like the people who came and what they suggested and everything. So yeah, um, word of advice for next year, just keep the Bible studies going and you know, just be relentless in your prayer and in your relationship with God. I have just enjoyed seeing you so much this year. It's just been such a privilege just to be able to be part of it and just to be surrounded by such amazing people. And I think it's just amazing the opportunities we've had to reach out to our school this year, just through our mission week, through our debates, and especially our Easter assembly. Like the feeling of that was just incredible. Just being able to share that message for so many years, it was just actually unbelievable. And I just want to encourage you all to just keep being the voice in our school, like, because this is our time to speak, and just to have such a great year next year, and just enjoy every moment of it, just living for God's glory. Okay. Um, this year, I was really privileged to take part in the Eastern Mamas that we were doing, and to work with such a committed and um, talented bunch of committee members to produce a drama that would tell everybody about Christ. And I think everybody in the whole school at least heard the Easter message, and that's something that we can all be very happy with. Um, right, I'm going to list down of all things in the year that stood out for me, and so I'm just going to look at it now and just tell you them. I loved that the debate in society ran a big debate on religion, and we all got to go to that and speak, and then we got to run our own debate um, with Mr. Bartman, and I loved that many people that came and how they came to hear a debate which was, you know, not what I was expecting, but I got to say things. Um, we got to pray for people in that room. It was amazing. I loved that seeing you overnight. I thought that was really special. I mean, that was a really major highlight of the room. Um, just how God came among us and spoke to us and blessed us. When Gordon Stewart came and talked about Iraq and what life is like for Christians there, and especially the Yazidi people, um, I love that we've kept our promise and every time we've been together we have prayed for the Yazidi people. I loved uh, the gingerbread men outreach. Uh, I loved the gingerbread men, firstly. I loved how that worked and I loved how God brought so many people to that and we were able to talk about the gospel to them. I thought the teacher testimonies were great. I really loved that and that different people came who'd never been to the door to see you in seven years. Some of them came to hear the teachers give their testimonies. Definitely doing that again next year. Um, I thought Mission Week went really well. Um, I thought we got to answer questions that people had. Um, I thought we got to, you know, just point people to Jesus. I really loved the Bible studies and uh, hopefully going to run those next year. I really loved Philippians and just sitting there talking in my classroom or outside on that Sunday day about God's Word. I thought that was wonderful. And the Easter assemblies. And it's not right to pick your favourite moment, but. Um, we got to tell the entire school, we got to tell every pupil and every teacher about Jesus and what we've done. And for me that has been that has been the highlight of um, my entire time at Dalriada, whether as a pupil or as a teacher. Um, that's what I wanna say. I wanna say I'm really sad that this year is over with this committee, but I am really excited about next year.